All right, our next two patients are two bypass patients. Um, they are two different bypass, by the way, uh, which is the frequently asked questions. What are the types of gastric bypass available? Uh, so there are two main gastric bypass that are approved internationally. Uh, the first one, which is a classic one, is called the Ruin Y gastric bypass. It's been around for more than 30 to 50 years old. Uh, uh, it's, they, they, it's referred to as the gold standard. Then there's a relatively newer one referred to as mini gastric bypass, but the new name, the, the better name is one anastomosis gastric bypass. In order to understand the difference between the types of bypass, you need to understand how your bowel and your stomach, your GI system looks like. So right here, this is your bowel. This is your normal GI system. This is your esophagus going into your stomach and then food runs down in the bowel. So this is normal. This is what God created. This is how, how it is right now. With the mini, mini gastric bypass, what we do is, as you can see here, we split the stomach all the way down from top to bottom, almost to bottom, not, not the whole length. So this is, it creates sort of a small, a, a small, a narrow long pouch. See how long it is? And then we run down the bowel, take an, a distal segment and then connect it to uh, the separated stomach. So this is the remnant stomach, we refer to it as remnant stomach. So what happens, food will go down here, all the way down until it reaches the rest of your bowel. So this big chunk of bowel is being bypassed, hence the name bypass. So there's only one anastomosis here, hence the name one anastomosis gastric bypass. Compare this to the ruin y gastric bypass here. Remember, Ru and Y has been around for, for quite a while. When you look at here, look how big when you separate the stomach, it's very, it's sort of long. Here with Ru and Y, we make it short and narrow. So compare this to this. As you can see, this is shorter. Then we go again, the same as here as the mini bypass, take a loop of bowel and connect it up to the stomach. So we have one connection over here. But this is only one step of the bypass. The second step of the bypass, this is the second step. We basically, if you go back here, we separate, we cut that out. We cut that and push and connect it down here. So this is what happened here, look at here. So this is, remember, this is your first anastomosis. Then there's your second anastomosis. Anastomosis means connection. So right here, we're connecting the small stomach pouch, your new stomach to the intestine and then the second connection is between the intestine to intestine. So this is the difference. So the mini bi bypass uh, is composed of only one anastomosis. For the Ruin Y gastric bypass is comp composed of two anastomosis, two connections. Why? Uh, I don't want to go too technical, but it's all about the bile, uh, the, the circulation of the bile. With the mini gastric bypass, we keep the longer pouch so we minimize uh, the flow of bile, we, see, we don't want bile in your esophagus. Bile in your esophagus is bad. So by elongating this, uh, we decrease the risk of bile coming up. As compared to the Ruin Y, uh, the bile will never pass by due to the second connection. So what happens, bile will come from this portion of the intestine and it won't go up, it will go down. But what happens with food here, same as the other technique, it will go down all the way down there. All right, so which is better? This definitely needs another video. Uh, there is a lot of research going on. It's comparing both, studying the long-term effects of both procedures. So far, the both, both have really good results. Each has its own pros and cons. So uh, if you're decided, consult us. We'll give you, we'll ask a couple of questions. Based on those questions, we can decide which procedure is best for you. Uh, one of the patients of today has a revision surgery. So what he had, he had a sleeve that didn't work. He was done, he's, a, he's, he's from Saudi Arabia. He had a sleeve that was done uh, eight years ago and uh, he regained his weight. So he's coming over for the uh, mini gastric bypass. So when we go in, he shouldn't have the stomach because remember the sleeve, we take out this part of the stomach. So this is out, it's not present. So he will only have this, this, this part of the stomach, what we do, we're gonna connect a bowel to it, only one connection. That's why it's called one anastomosis gastric bypass. If you have any questions, feel free to send them over.